Hi everyone, it's Helen here. How is everyone today? Okay, so we're going to be making this box today and we'll be going to be using the medium exploding box die set. Now this has been really difficult for us to keep in stock because every time it comes back um, it sells out pretty much straight away again. Now this was one of the first die sets I released um, back in 2018 and it sold out on the first day of its release and then back in January we released the medium exploding box additions die set now it's this dicer here that is going to turn it into an exploding box it's like a memory like a memory exploding box so it's going to have uh, pockets here and all these mats here as well so i'll be getting right into that in a moment so this is what this die set does just on its own i'm sure you've seen this before this opens up and you know i love my exploding um gift boxes and then in each one there is room there f there's room there for four for our rochets or any treats that you want to put in so that will take four times four times uh four times four yeah four times four anyone good at maths my brain's not working because i'm in live mode at the moment which means mathematics runs away it's gone out the door okay so that is the medium exploding box die set and in January we released the medium exploding box additions die set that is what is going to turn this into a memory album so this opens up like that and then you have the center the center bit here and I've made this using both of these die sets together so you can actually make these without dies um, if you wanted to but it will take you a long time and there's you know you've got to work out all the measurements and get everything right with this die set you can just run it through as with most die sets it's there to make your life easy and there's enough creativity in here and options that you can use to actually make a different one each time so here we have the center center um, flaps in here you can put photos on the inside and the outside of that central box and this here is basically the lid from the original set so that's part of that and again what is really nice about this die set this actually just makes my heart sing actually this this part here the mat here is the shape of this thumb tab there that is notoriously difficult to get I don't think I've ever managed to get that perfect doing it manually with um, a round uh, circle punch or anything like that so to have that that just sings to me it really does and we have pockets in each section and we have uh, pockets here so you can pop stuff in there so you can get really creative that's not the right lid here we are and I have a second example to show you guys so again you get all of these leaves and flowers and the um, lovely ornate label here and the words um, no you don't get the word special that's from another die set but you can add anything you want on top of there and uh, this one opens up exactly the same but this one's a little bit different I've taken two of these boxes so I've designed this one this height here of this wall here to take two of these exploding boxes so if you wanted you, you know you could turn this into a treat gift box and just forget about all of the pockets you can add another two here and another two here and you will have a double exploding box so that kind of makes it a lot taller so in here you can add um, keepsakes trinkets you know if this was for a baby or something like that you can add you know locks of hair first tooth there that is it's basically this one's designed for little keepsakes and also to pop in a few memories as well i've got a couple of photos here let's pop that that's me on my wedding day got some blossom there i've got my baby cat there when he was a baby you know there's loads of you know different things will that fit in there that might be a bit long but you can just trim them down you know so you can pop those in there that's a little bit too big a bit too long but you can trim that down there's loads of room here for me to trim that 
that I can just pop that in there and just pop all my photos in. There is absolutely loads of room in those pockets. And you can map them as well. Okay, so let's get started. Right, so what are you going to need to do? Okay, so as I'm using both of the die sets, I'm going to start off with this one and I'm going to use the large one here to make this lid. So this is the main lid for the box. So I'm going to start off with that one. So I've done that already. And I'm just going to quickly show you I have missed a step. What papers am I going to be using? That would be nice for you guys to know, wouldn't it? So much for me to remember. Okay, so I'm using the Flying High set. Now this is currently 19.99 at Craft Stash. It's an 8x8 uh, paper pad and it's the whole set here. So this is from Craftwork Cards. So I'm sure you've seen these before, but these are absolutely stunning. Beautiful papers. This is going to make a lovely, wonderful exploding memory box for us so those are all the designs there and as you can see i've had a good bash at some of them and there's still loads left and then you also get these die cut toppers here as well so i might just be taking a couple of these out because this would make a really nice birthday themed memory album so you get four of those and then we have some lovely butterflies here these all pop out as well and they're taking the designs from the papers as well so you get four of those then we have some bunting here some of them are scalloped and you also get some of these ornate style scalloped toppers as well so they make some lovely images you get four of those and then at the back there i've already had a good bash at these two you get five sheets of each colour. So you get the green, these are all eight by eight. You get the beige, you get the light pink, and yeah, it's four colours. And then you get the dark pink. I've used mostly all of those, but I do have scraps, so I'll be keeping everything together. So I've been, I've had this for a good year now in my stash and I've really wanted to, to use it so I'm thinking it's going to be really perfect for using on this exploding mini album. Okay so I've cut the main big lid so let's get that glued together. So there's going to be a lot of me gluing today so hopefully I'll be able to keep an eye on the chat as well. So I'm, I'm using Cosmic Shimmer here, it dries clear and it's a super strong glue and these die sets they're going to cut everything for you and do all of the score lines for you as well so it really makes putting this together really easy because we've all been there um last minute presents and things like that imagine making one of these from making a mem an exploding memory box album from scratch last minute i would say that would be quite stressful but to have the dies you can just quickly and you can even then make you know a treat box to go along with it as well and put some um, chocolates in it too. Okay so that is the lid done. Okay so we're going to move on to the base now. There isn't actually a base piece in any of the die sets because it's a very simple thing for you to cut out yourself. So I'm just going to grab the card. I've put it all over here. I'm going to go for this lovely green here. I think I've got a top this colour. I haven't actually managed to wear it yet because I bought it just before lockdown and I haven't worn it yet so the measurement we're going to be needing is four and one eighth of an inch and by four and one eighth of an inch okay and now what we can do is pop on the side pieces so i have the side pieces here okay so i have done a bit of prep work already so i've cut out four of these main pieces and one thing i do do is when i'm working on a die set i try to do all of my die cutting at the same time so i tip all, tip the whole lot into a tray and then i can just rifle through for whichever ones i need and this one here is quite a clever die because you can, you can use this as the corners to join the box together to make a complete gift box. So you can turn it into a normal gift box as well with the lid. So the die I've used for this one is 
are these two here. So I've cut four of those and then I've used the extra die here just to make the mat. So we're going to glue these ones on first. So it's up to you whether you want to do them on the inside or the outside. I'm hoping that hasn't dried up. I'll give it a go. So let's see what I, these were so long ago then when I made these, I popped these on the inside. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh, the glue's still good. So I have everything glued here. Ideally, I would have used um, the base there being the same colour as the sides, but I ran out of cardstock. So these are all going to lift up just like that. And what I'll do is I'll cut out another piece um, of coloured patterned paper, I would say, for that for the centre, but I'm going to add the pockets next. So here are the pockets, so let's grab the dies that I use for that. Okay, so I've used this die here with the thumbnail, no need to get your circle punch out. And this die here, and you can see there, they just nest perfectly. So again, you can use um, double-sided tape for getting these pockets down. But as you can see, I'm just leisurely putting this together. I'm not referring back to my measurements, making sure I've got everything right. I'm just, I've made all of my decisions when I was die cutting on the patterned paper that I was using for each pocket. I probably should have cut this a bit lower because I don't know if this pocket here is going to cover this image. It does a little bit, but that's fine. But yeah, all the hard work has been done for me and now I'm just sticking and gluing. So does anyone know if the Cosmic Shimmer is back in stock? Or, I mean, it's still in stock. I know it's back in stock, but I'm hoping it hasn't gone back out of stock because I've used half of my bottle up now and I need to order another one, but it's something I always forget to check. I think Lou normally knows the answer to that one. Okay, so moving on to the next set of pockets, the smaller ones, these pop onto here. You can leave these off if you want to. Just get creative and do whatever you want to do. So these also come with the thumb holes with the shaped mat as well. So that nests together nicely. So I haven't actually put the mats on those. Where did I put the mats? Here we go, I've got a whole load of mats already cut out as well, so I'm keeping all of these the same papers. So I went for the hot air balloons there. Okay, so there's lots of gluing here involved. So that's kind of the thing with um, when you have a die set to make a whole project. There's a whole lot of die cutting in at the beginning and then It's a whole load of gluing as well but it is fun it is I find this quite relaxing it's not too relaxing when I'm trying to work stuff out and writing down measurements there's, there's always something I write down wrong and, and things like that so this is this for me this is quite relaxing so I'm going to add the pocket mat on now 
So if you were to make one of these, what would you use it for? Like a baby, a baby memory album. Again, if you're watching on the replay, let me know in the comments. And if you have made this already, I would love to see some photographs. Ah, so yes, Debbie, I know he's saying yes, it's still in stock. Ah, that's good. I shall have to order some. So I've got absolutely loads of this paper left over. So what else could I do with this paper? It kind of has a little bit of like a circusy theme with this, these um, strips here, these sun rays it kind of just reminds me a bit of like a circus theme so Debbie saying a wedding that would make a lovely wedding and um, memory box you can pop bits in there if you use it with some of the inside boxes as well so one of the grandchildren yes yeah, so you could do one for each of the grandchildren or if you have a family of four grandchildren in the same family. They could have like a, a pocket each, couldn't they? I do, Debbie. I need to buy it in bulk. <laughs> I'll buy two next time. Is that is that bulky enough? I don't know. Probably not. I don't want to... thing is, though, if I buy too much, then there's not going to be enough for anyone else. That's something I've been really wary of, going to the shops. I'm, I feel really bad if there's one left and I take it. Somebody else might really want it or need it, but then... I don't know, I got there first, I guess, but I wouldn't ever clear a shelf and leave nothing for anyone else. Lots of sticking, lots of gluing. So I'm hoping I'm going to have a really nice finished box album by the end of today's video. We're almost there with the last pocket. There we go. I was worried that this this video would be a bit short but I don't think so with all this sticking and gluing. It's a good thing I didn't um, use double-sided tape because I probably would have finished now and that would be the video over. Ah, so Debbie's saying I'll be buying it for their benefit. <laughs> what I do wish, this comes in a 125ml bottle, it also comes in a 30ml bottle. What I need is a giant sized bottle that I can then refill. I, mean, I know the Colal does, I have a massive bottle of Colal but that's my um, emergency glue. So again I just love the way that these matte dies follow this thumb curve there that's really hard to do if you were doing that manually with a circle punch or a circle die it's just just really difficult to do ah first come serve the golden rule <laughs> it's true it's true okay so now i'm going to cut a piece of paper for the center so let's choose that i could actually just go for that i think i will that needs to be cut down so let's do that how much does this measure this is one of my off cuts so that measures four and sorry three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths i'm just going to do three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths and that should cover the inside nicely so let's that glued down So, 
Okay, so we're on to the next part now. So the box in the middle, you can just put an ordinary box in just like this and maybe glue another one on top of the lid so you have a stack of boxes. You can pop it on diagonally, you can pop it in straight as well. There's loads of different things that you can do. So the lid, the lid these, these are the two lids here from the the first die set, the, the original die set. So it's not from the additions at all, it's from the first die set. And it's, again, as I said, it's one of the lids here for that. So let's get those glued together. I'm just gonna add glue to all of these tabs here and then stick it together. Okay, so now we have two lids. So one's going to be the base for the box, the opening box, and the other one is going to be the top. So I have these sections here. I've already matted. No, oh, I haven't actually. Let's do some more matting. Oh, you're probably going to be really bored of me <laughs> doing all of this matting. So I have some here already cut out. So I'm going to have that in the middle. There we go. Oh, I have a couple missing. Never mind. I can do some die cutting. Let's just we can variate from matting. We can die cut some mats instead. So let's get these. Oh no, I did cut enough. Excellent. Okay, so let's quickly mat these. So I've done the outside and now I'm doing the inside. And again, these matte dies that you that are here, this one here and this one here. Let's make a bit of space. You can use on your photographs. Just finding the other one. This is the larger one as well. You can use that to die cut a photograph. So if you're not very good at like measuring out your photos, just print them and then you can die cut the sections you want. Just place it on the photograph, the bit that you want, and then you can cut it out and then that will perfectly fit on these flaps there. So that's another um, little trick as well. So we've done that one. Everything's merging together now, so we're almost there now. So I am looking forward to getting this filled with photos. So I'm thinking for this birthday party and um, probably my daughter. Okay, so it looks like I've reconnected now. So I think my internet is still a little bit intermittent, but nothing like those huge problems I had two months ago. Okay, so I'm gonna glue these underneath this lid. So I'm adding glue to the bottom of the flap there. And then these are glued directly at the bottom. So I'm just lining that up there, just like that, if you can see. So that is going to fall down like that. And then just repeat that again. So I'm going to Get everything laid out the way I want first so that's kind of how I want them to go around add your glue and again you can get really creative with the orientation of your box how you decorate it inside how you do the pockets how many pockets or how many boxes you put on the side so I'm just making sure that this moves up and down before I properly glue that Yep, I did disappear for a little bit, but yeah, I'm back, I'm back. Okay, so now this is going to 
pop up with just like that and then this is going to be our lid for the top and there we have another box so it looks untidy at the bottom but that's going to be glued down here so before I do that I want to get all these done now these will fit they will slot inside here and line up nicely so let's get those matted I'm only going to mat one side aha I do need to do some die cutting I only have three. Oh no there was one hiding I have four mats <laughs> So I'm only going to do the mats on one side because on the other side I'm going to have a photograph and I'm going to use this, the same mat die to cut my photograph out so it's going to do the round corners for me at the top or sideways depending on how you want your orientation. So I'm just going to glue these in now and these fit in perfectly so what I'm going to do is just butt it, butt it up to the next one just like that it's kind of like a mini waterfall but it's kind of like a standing up waterfall okay so let's get this box put in now I've got two of these here now so we have everything ready to go in and again use the mat die here to cut your photograph out to glue that in there so let's get this lid put on having this all tucked away nicely is really going to help help you line everything up so let's pop this in the center I'm going to have to stand up for this. Okay, that looks about right. Yep. Okay. So now when we open this up, it drops forward like that. And then we have our lovely tiny little mini album waterfall feature in the center. I really like that. And then you can cut your mats out or however you want for all of these so I do have some photographs here so we can pop in maybe some nice flowers there oh that's my son when he was a baby now these are blueberries before they turn blue so these are all taken from my garden over the years here we have some of my lavender with a bee on there can pop that in there these are some peas and these are potato flowers they're really really pretty potato flowers are really nice and then once they die off your potatoes are ready to dig up so these are the tiny little peas these never make it into the house because they get eaten before they make it in so you can just pop in all your photos just like that you can map them onto paper or onto card or you can just pop as many photos in as you want to and again you've got the larger pockets at the back so ooh, I've made a big mess with this glue because I've been using it a lot okay so I need to mat the top of this and then I need to mat the lid there okay so let's grab the ruler okay so the top one needs to measure two and three eighths So what paper should I go for? You can even layer it onto some cardstock. So maybe I'll do two and three eighths and two and a half. So I think I'm gonna go for this diamond sort of design. I said two and three eighths, didn't I? I'm going to double check that because that's what my brain does it forgets things two and three eighths yep yeah. ok 
Okay, that's the first one. And then I'm going to cut one smaller. Maybe I have a scrap. Always check you have a scrap first before going into a new piece of paper. Oh no, that's all I've got left of that. Oh, here we go. Here we are. I'll save you for another day. So that was two and three eighths. So I'm going to take this down to two and one eighth. So that's going to give us a quarter of an inch border of green. There we go. So apologies for the state of my nail varnish. There's only little bits left on there now, but I'm past the point of caring about my nails at the moment. We've had chickens this week and gardening and things I will have a nice long soak in the bath tomorrow night take off my nail varnish and I don't think I'm going to put any more on it's gonna be naked nails Yes, Lou, it's so easy. Once you have the dyes that do everything for you, it really frees up your brain to just decorate it. Okay, so that is a box and what it looks like on the inside. I really love that. That is gonna make a really nice first birthday party celebration box for my daughter. maybe we can see if we can decorate it just love these kits everything that i'm using here today is all from that flying high kit you get everything in there it's linked down below and you also get this candy as well these are kind of like um domed paper embellishments these are orange i do like them but i'm thinking i'm going to pop these in my halloween box this is going to make some perfect halloween confetti or even gluing around Halloween projects so I'm going to save that for that okay so we have is this going this is going to be way too big for anything so this might actually go on the top here possibly and we also have bunting as well butterflies here we go got happy birthday party time that would be a good one too you have good luck on your special day best wishes happy birthday to you we have i love this sort of bunting it goes downwards so this one would look really nice possibly glued here so drop down or maybe even here Yes, I'm going to pop that there. Can even use a foam pad as well. Pop that in the center. So this is this is like the fun bit. You get to decorate. I've st I've still got energy now in my head, my brain. I'm not tired to actually have the space. I need a lot of space to get creative. And if there's no space there, it just doesn't happen. Don't know if any of you are the same. Okay, so I'm going to add that there. I think I would like a circle behind there. So I'm going to go into my... I'm actually going to use something else. I'm going to grab a circle punch. Okay, this one is one and a half. That might be a bit small, but we'll go for that. Gotta love the stamping up punches. There we go. Oh, I think I might want to add some pink now. Let's grab the next size up. I'm just destroying the set here. 
my light has just collapsed. There we go, fixed. Right, I now have the one and three quarters punch and I need some pink cardstock. I'm not, this is why I, I like to keep my scraps. So I'm going to see if that's going to fit. One and three quarters. If you're wondering why my initials are there, I used to do stamping up workshops locally in my area. Something I do miss actually, I miss doing those. So maybe I should do just some normal ones, hopefully when things return to somewhat normal. Okay, circle punches and circle dies are absolutely essential for me and my, to having my stash ready to go. I absolutely love them. I don't think I'd be able to craft without them. All those die sets, the nesting die sets of all the basic shapes. I love those, those so they're really, really handy. So I'm going to put this happy birthday there. Again, this would look great with foam pads. There we go. That's looking really nice now. So I would not be at this stage at this point if I was doing this by scratch. I know that for a fact. Okay, so let's get the lid on now. And then we can do the next the top here so I am going to whip out I think some glitter cardstock and cut that at three and seven eighths so let's grab yes this one so I said three and seven eighths Three and seven eighths. There we go, put that on top. And I think I might be able to have some green. Yes, I'm going to have the green. So I'm going to do that a quarter of an inch shorter. So that was three and seven eighths. So a quarter is two eighths. So one, two, three and seven eighths. So three and five eighths on there that's looking really nice and now we just need to choose one more piece of patterned paper for the top what shall we go for thinking I don't want it to be too busy or to clash that's the only thing. So maybe I should just go for something like this from this corner. No, I don't think so. Oh, this is, this is, this is the decisions. This is the decisions. See, that has a direction and we have a box here. So I'm going to go for that one again, I think. So do I have any scraps? I do. Not big enough. Okay, we have to cut into that. So our last measurement was three and five eighths. So we're going to take this down again, another quarter of an inch to three and three eighths. There we go, and I think I might just go into the die set again and do, there is a, um, a funky label here, I call it a funky label because it's not a proper label, it's a tag with a funky label thingy on it, here we go, and there's another one here actually to choose from, but I might just go for that. Should I go for that? Party time. Let's 
see it will do the hole as well but you can cover the hole if you want to use it or should I just go for the circles I think I might just go for the circles that's a bit small I'm thinking that that's just too small for the top of the box so let's see oh we do have this See, decisions, decisions. No, that's too big now. Got butterflies. I like this. Let's try this. Let's audition it. Happy birthday. That, that does disappear in. Okay. Bunting would look good on there too. But I think I'm just going to die cut that out. Do I have any more of that green card? Actually, the pink will look nice. Yeah, let's do the pink. You get to see me uh, use my new plates. I have some silver glitter plates and if you saw my craft haul this morning you'd have seen me show you those but I'm actually going to use them now here they are lovely and glittery and I'm just keeping one as my cutting plate and this one stays at the top at all times and I won't get them mixed up because I can see now where I've been cutting them. I can see all the cut, the cut lines. Uh, where's the box? Okay, so there we go. Actually, da -da -da, I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to cut this out again. In the green. I'm looking for a bigger green. Here we go, this is a nice big patch. Quite liking these, these glitter ones, they're really different. I think we can get them in gold as well. Okay, we're going to layer these together just so that we have kind of like a little bit of colour difference. And that will look nice. Put my dies away before I lose them. So I'm not too sure if I'm liking that party time now. So, do I really want to use it? So let's get everything layered together and glued in place. And I think I have changed my mind on that party time thing. Okay, not sure if I want the party time now. Maybe it looks better that way round. Perhaps, I'm going to just leave it, I think. I'm going to pop these two together because I know I want those. I know I want those layered, but Something I do like to use is I, I like to use the letter letter alphabet dies to do like an, an initial. 
So I might do that, and this will look nice with some of the leaves and the flowers. So I'm going to use some foam pads. Oh, I have a bow here. I use this bow on everything, I think. The butterfly bow from last week. That would look really nice on there too. So this is where you start, you're in danger now of overthinking things. So I'm just going to keep it really simple. I'm not going to finish it off tonight. I'm going to come back tomorrow and finish it off because I know how my brain works now. So if I can't make a decision, I'm going to leave it till the morning and look at it with fresh eyes. So I will put some twine through there as well. But I am going to just, I am going to try and finish it off. That would look good, maybe. Yes, I'm going to leave that tomorrow and I will probably put her initial, her initials on there. Or write her name out as well, I don't know. And I will use this, these foliage, these pieces of foliage here. So we have two, two different styles of leaves and two styles of flowers. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add those around there as well and probably pop her initials on there and then I can take some photographs. So I'm hoping um, that has made sense on how this goes together. I'm sure you may have looked at the additions die set and thought, well, how the heck does that work with this? That's it. This is exactly how it does it. And I did that in just over an hour. And I spent probably an hour die cutting earlier on as well. So two hours to make this, that's really not that bad going, especially as you could you could spend a very good amount of hours doing this one from scratch. Okay, so thank you everyone for joining me today. And if you're on the replay, thank you very much for staying this long. And I will see you all again very soon. Bye.